Good morning, Highlanders. Would you please rise for a moment of silence and remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. And these are the morning announcements. So this week we begin our celebrations at the end of the year. We will have awards almost every day this week. Starting today on Monday, we will have our 6th grade STEAM awards. On Tuesday afternoon, we will have our 7th grade STEAM awards. On Wednesday afternoon, the 8th grade STEAM awards. On Thursday, the Center for Gifted Studies students will have their Kane Lotta ceremony. And on Friday, the music department will have awards. All of the awards recipients' parents will receive invitations to watch the ceremony on YouTube. Starting next week, we will have our collection parades. Our eighth grade car parade will take place on May 26th and 27th in the evening from 5 to 8 p.m. It will be a drive-through parade. And to keep the car moving, we will be sending information tonight with breakdown arrival times by alphabet. The eighth grade car parade will include a photo opportunity and an eighth grade gift from the eighth grade teachers. We will also have your rewards presented and you will have an opportunity to return all of your textbooks, athletic uniforms, and orchestra instruments. And then the last stop will be a locker clean out where you will receive the contents of your lockers. Please make sure you go into portal and look up your locker number before May 26th. Our sixth and seventh grade collection days will be on May 26th and 27th in the afternoon from one to four. Again, we will be sending alphabet times so that you will come at separate times to keep the car line moving. We will have the awards for our 6th and 7th grade, grade awards recipients. 6th and 7th grade students will also return their textbooks, their athletic uniforms, and their orchestra in instruments. And they will receive their locker clean out. Again, 6th and 7th grade students, make sure you look up your locker number in Portal so that we can get the right locker contents to you. Separate collection days will be scheduled for the following items. Band instruments will be on May 28th, which will be later next week for the time to be announced. Library books at this time are not being returned, and computers and iPads we're asking for students to hold on to for now. There will be a collection date later on in the summer. And finally, on Friday the, the 22nd this week, we will have a talent show, and you will see links to watch in Teams. You will also be able to vote in Teams, so make sure you tune in and check it out. I can't believe it, but we are down to the last two weeks of the school year, and we want to see all of our students succeed for the fourth marking period. Next week will be the last week with new assignments. The last week of school will be all enrichment week and will allow students more time to make sure they have completed all of their assignments. To encourage all of you to complete your assignments, we are continuing to have a weekly drawing for some gift cards. I've asked the teachers to turn in the names of the students who completed all of their work from last week, and this week I'm going to randomly pick the names of eight students from each grade level. All right, so once again, we are going to draw eight names today for gift cards from the sixth grade to start. Our eight sixth graders, the first two will be Papa John's gift cards. So a Papa John's gift card goes to Jada Jones, and the second goes to Byron Graham. Now we will draw for Jets Pizza gift cards, two of those gift cards. The first going to Peter Suthavongrath, and the second will go to Kira Stansberry. Next up, we will be dot drawing for two Dodges Chickens gift certificates. The first Dodges Chicken certificate will go to Melissa Palak, and the second from Dodges Chicken will go to Andres Mancia Bernal. And finally, we have a new entry. Jilly Beans Ice Cream Shop on Patricia has two gift certificates. And so the first one for Jilly Beans, for Sophia Fong Saktidi, and the second from Jilly Beans will be Arik Martinez Leal. Congratulations to all of our sixth grade awards winners. Now to seventh grade. We have eight winners in seventh grade. The first drawing is for a Papa John's gift card going to Anahi Cruz. Our second Papa John's gift card will go to Cameron Cruz. Next we will draw for Jets Pizza gift card. Jets Pizza gift card will go to 
Stefan Phillips. And a second Jets Pizza gift card will go to Giselle Uviagara. Now we will draw for Dodge's Chicken Gift Certificate. Dodge's Chicken Gift Certificate goes to Ariana Himani. And a second Dodge's Chicken Gift Certificate will go to Sabina Schweikel. And then gift certificates to Jilly Beans Ice Cream Shop on Patricia. The first one for Jilly Beans will be David Reyes. And the second will go to Keegan McKeague. Congratulations to all of our winners. And now for our eighth grade winners, a Papa John's gift certificate goes to Elias Hernandez. Another Papa John's gift certificate going to Kamara Wilson. A Jets Pizza gift certificate will go to Carson Brady. Another Jets Pizza gift card will go to Diego Resendez. Now for a Dodge's Chicken gift certificate, that will go to Faith Chiflet. Another Dodge's Chicken gift certificate will go to Kennedy Tukowski. And then finally, Jitley Beans Ice Cream Shop for Michaela Browarski. And another Jilly Beans Ice Cream Shop for Brittany Hernandez. Congratulations to all of our 8th grade winners. Next week I'll be drawing names again, so let's make sure you're all turning in all of your work. Your teachers are willing to work with you to make up missed assignments, but the end of the year will be here soon. Again, there's only two weeks left. So get with your teacher and find out how you can turn in late assignments and bring up your grades. Our wonder precept for this week is you are free to choose but you are not free from the consequence of your choice. Once again, students, we are in this together. I can continue to encourage all of you to reach out to your friends, connect with them in any way that you can, Snapchat, TikTok, call, text, make sure they are checking in online and turning in their assignments. We need each other now more than ever. And as you navigate this digital world, I want you to continue to show your rep while you're working online. Here at Dunedin Highland Middle School, we conduct ourselves with respect, excellence, and pride. Let's show our rep in the chats, in the live lessons, and in communicating with our teachers. Have a great day. Go Highlanders!